what's going on guys it is jojo hinky another video and we're doing another tier list i'm gonna be honest here i know they're kind of like cheap videos but uh this probably will be my last tier list one for a bit um you know it's only it's only a second one if you didn't see the tier list from yesterday i was judging the overwatch league in-game skins and then this video will be me judging the overwatch league jerseys for each team home and away so it will be a lengthy video um, so here we go, we're gonna jump right into it. There are 19 more days until the Overwatch League begins, so look forward to that. My series is going strong. Tomorrow's video will be a banger, I promise. And let's get right into it, baby. So, what we'll do is the rain, right? The, the, the rain, this goes alphabetically, right? So, the Atlanta Rain's home jersey. I honestly like it, especially compared to a lot of other home jerseys there are. I kind of, I like it a lot, um, because there's some home trees out there that I personally, I just think, are, are, are just garbage. I'm gonna be honest, I think those looks really clean, I like the lettering a lot, um, I think the only problem I'd have with it is if you can, on the bottom of the, the back of it, which is with most jerseys, you can't really see the lettering that says, the, like, the name of the team. So, like, with my Uprising jersey I have, it, it, I have the away one, and it says Uprising in black on the bottom on the back, and... That doesn't really help because you can't really see it that well. Um, but I like Rain's because it is in like a nice little gray color. You can see it pretty well. I like their away jersey or home jersey a lot. I'll put it in A. And their away jersey, I actually I like their home jersey more. It shows more of the red color, which is kind of like their signature color there. You know, the red, black, and the bit of white. Um, I don't like this one only because it has like no. It's just like all black. Like even the the before the lettering or under the lettering, it's just like a bit lighter black like it's like a dark gray so i'm not a big fan of it um you know i like the lettering i think the lettering looks cool on their jerseys i like their uh font is the word i like their font on the jerseys but i think this one's a c just because it's it doesn't it's kind of bland it's like all black with a bit of red lettering um i don't think it looks super cool um i you know i would wear it you know it look like i would say almost every jersey here looks pretty sick but this one i'm uh, just not just not a fan um especially it's just like all black with a bit of red you know on tf rising home jersey oh god this is on like the same level i it's just i can't describe what i don't like about it but i don't like it that much it's just uh i the yellow stripe just is something i can't stand because it's all blue and then there's a yellow stripe i think they should have done like maybe a white stripe with like yellow or something else because i don't i really just the one thing that sets off for me is the yellow stripe i don't like it. i know yellow is a color but i think they should have accented it in like the sleeves or like the bottom or something i don't think it should have been like this because i don't like the, i don't like the yellow i'm gonna be honest i think it's not terrible though like it's not like it's d tier i think it's like a pretty good like looking at it in a picture here and looking at it like on the player or something is completely different or not completely different but it makes it look a bit better so i will not put it in d but it's not great now their away jersey i'll put it at, i like their away jersey a lot this is i was talking about on their home jersey they have the the yellow stripe with blue lettering they did the opposite here and i think just looks way better i think you want less yellow because it makes it pop more especially with the lettering i like the black with that nice blue sleeve i think it looks fucking sick and i know i'm a bit biased i i can be honest but that's what happens when you're watching a boston fan that's your own fault the hunters i don't know okay okay i'm gonna be honest here i think their home jersey is better than their away one i I just think it looks so much better. Like, this is such a unique color, right? Where it's not like orange, but it's not like brown. It's like in the middle. I think that's like, I think it's a cool color. And then it makes the orange in the lettering pop out more with the black stripe in the back. I like this one a lot, actually. Ah, I would put the, I want to move Boston to be actually. I'll put that A, like that. That's a fucking sick jersey. I love their jersey. Their away one, it's like, it's a C, it's average. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I'm trying to part with these where it's like, yeah, it's all right. Um, the fuels, I, I said this in the last video with their skins, I don't like the blue on blue stuff, because a lot of, like, look, looking through this, right, blue on blue, blue on blue, blue on blue, that's three teams right there, right, there's another blue on green, there's a lot of blue in these teams, and Boston's is, like, not a light blue, but it's a bold blue, whereas this is just, like, a very dark, like, navy blue, it's, it doesn't really, like, stand out much in my opinion, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. The Jack in the Box also sets it off. They're one of the only jerseys with, like, 
uh, what's it called? Their sponsor on it, which, you know, what if Jack in the Box lets them go or whatever? That's kind of sad. But I don't know. I don't like it. I think it sets it off the red. I would honestly put this in D. Um, to be honest, I really don't like the Fuel jerseys. I, if, it's not like they're, none of these are bad jerseys, by the way. None of them are like, oh, these are fucking, I would never get these. Like, I would get all of them, but, like, compared to all these other jerseys, I think this is pretty bottom tier. Now, they're home, their away jerseys a bit better. I would put it in C. I'm not a fan of Dallas jerseys in general. I mean, you can look at the top right of the sleeve here. It's in the same, like, color that this lettering is in. I don't know if that looks good. Like, the red also just makes it feel weird from the Jack in the Box logo. I, it's just something about it offsets me. The Florida jersey, fucking S tier, the home one. The Vice, classic Miami, Florida, just Vice. Oh, I love it so much. Their away jersey, on the other hand, I would put it like mid tier. Um, I like the blue accents on it a lot. I just think the font really sets stuff. Like, look at the font on Mayhem, and then look at Florida. They're just like completely different. I don't think it looks as good. The font really sets it off for me. I think the rest of it looks nice. Um, I think it's hard to like look um, like have an amazing jersey with the all black. I think it's really hard to like do that because I feel like all black jerseys, there's a lot of them in the league, there's a lot of them here, and I think it's really hard to stand out, um, and the font really offsets it for me. Um, the charge, it just it like the fuel, it's just another blue on blue. I will say they have teal, and I like the teal over the blue on like a lighter blue like the fuel have. Um, their home jersey, I like, I actually really like the font in their jersey, I think it looks fucking sick. What I will say, it doesn't really have much like, it's just teal, 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 and then white, like... I would put it mid tier. I like the font in their jersey. I think it looks fucking. It makes it look fucking sick. And I like that it's not like all black. And it's just like a bit of teal. Now they're a away jersey. Actually, I did that wrong. They're a away jersey. Fucking sick. I love their away jersey. I know I was just like, oh, every team has black, but I think they make it look really nice. Like the lettering's like, I don't know what font that is, but the lettering's like small and compact enough for like it makes it like stand out a bit with like the light teal and the look. I don't. I really like their away jersey. Um, I think they did something a bit different with it, you know, like with, with their lettering being a lot smaller than if you look at like any other one of these, they're just a lot smaller and it makes it stand out more weirdly. Um, going on to the Houston's, their, their thing is literally just opposite of each other. There's nothing much different. Oh, uh, I will say I prefer the black one just because it makes the green stand out more because you have like a white on a light green. I'll put that like D. I don't really like it looking at it. I thought I would like it more, Jesus. Anyway, I thought I would like it more just because, like, you know, it's the Outlaws, and it's, a, but it's, like, it's a white on a light green with black lettering. I, I'm not a fan. They're a way one, though. This is what I want, like, if Contenders ever gets a jersey, I know Houston, Houston has, like, Contenders colors, and it makes it look, like, it makes me excited about, like, Contenders skins and shit, because, like, they, they are sick. Like, look how sick that looks. I think it looks amazing. The Spark jerseys. A tier, bro. Wait, who the fuck doesn't want a pink jersey? <laughs> Cotton candy colors, and the thing I like about theirs is theirs isn't just lettering. They have like the electricity, the pink electricity that they have like in their logo and shit. I'll say move it up to S for that. They have that little electricity like spark thing, like you could say, in their lettering, which I think makes it stand out a bit more. Their black one, it's kind of with B with all these other black ones. They're all kind of the same. Their lettering's a bit harder to read because it's in B or like it's in that light blue on the pink, but it still looks alright. I think a lot of black jerseys will go in this B tier because they're good, but they don't really stand out from the others. And going on to the Gladiators, I don't like the, I hate the shade of purple they picked. Um, I'm going to put this C. Um, people will hate me, I'm sorry. But I just think it like nothing stands out much. It's just like it looks very bland with the dark purple, the black, and then just the white lettering. It's just like, alright. I think the purple and the black are too... Or the purple's too dark for the black, right? Like, even on their away one, I'm going to put it the same. Because, like, the purple and the black, just, like, it's not terrible, and, it, like, it looks fine. But in these pictures, at least, it makes it, like, look so similar to each other because the purple's so dark that I'm not a fan. The Valiant are just, like, knockoff Boston. Like, I don't... Why did they change their color scheme to ours, of all people? Um, no, I think they pulled it off because it's light blue. I think it's better than Boston's, but I think they're on the same tier overall. I think the lighter blue looks in the home jersey, but it looks worse on the away jersey, um, which I will put at the same place, which is, yeah, I think that looks fine. Their, their home jersey, I would say, is better than Boston, but the Boston would be someone away. I don't like the light blue on the black. I don't know why, but it doesn't, like, stand out well. Maybe if they did, like, yellow lettering or something, 
or the yellow stripe and then put blue lettering or some shit. I like to do it with their home one, it would look better, but in my opinion, it does not look amazing. The Spitfire jersey, fucking sick. I People underrate the Spitfires, like jerseys and skins. I think the orange accent is the most perfect thing they've ever done, besides winning a championship. But their lettering, or their accent color, or picking orange as the accent color, it's just, it just looks so nice to me. And there, I just put it with the rest. Their away jersey is, you know, pretty normal, pretty standard. But their home jersey, especially with the lettering they chose, I think it looks sick. You can actually see the name on the bottom. I love the orange accent that they have. New York is another blue on blue. Um, their home one, I like the lettering, and for that, I'll put them B. The lettering on that they chose is really sick. For both of them, honestly, I'll put them B because I like the white on black. The white on black looks really clean with the blue lettering. And I, I want to see more teams do that white on black kind of stuff because I think white and black goes really good together like the Fusions home jersey does. Um, Paris, not a big fan of the red on orange compared to the rest of these. Um, the red on orange, I don't know, it just doesn't like, it's not appealing to me. Um, especially with like the compact letters they chose. It's not amazing, like it's fine. And their away jersey, I would say is better. I prove the rest of the black. Actually, I'll move it down a peg just because the lettering between these two is really weird, right? Because you have like small compact letters here, and then you just have big spread out letters here. And instead of doing this yellow on red, they do white on red, and there's no yellow left. Um, I don't know, it's just a weird stylistic choice, in my opinion. I don't think it's really like great, but I don't think it looks terrible either. But compared to the rest of these jerseys, it's not, it's definitely not top tier. Um, Fusions, actually, really like their home jerseys are sick. Like I said, the white on black looks nice, and I like that they went white on black on white some more, and I don't know if you can tell this in the video, but the white on the stripe looks a lot, like, it pops out way more than the one on the actual jersey. Like, the jersey white seems a little, like, dirtier, if that makes sense, and then the one of the thing seems more clean because it's surrounded by black, which makes it pop more, which I like. Now, their away jerseys, I think they're on the same level as the Hunters. It's literally, like, the same thing, <laughs> except... Their font smaller, which by the way, I can barely read that. And their orange is a bit like darker, which is like it's fine, but I don't, I'm not a fan. Um, under the dynasty, I don't think this is really like a gold color, is the thing, right? If they did like, I think if they did more of a gold color, it would look pretty nice. But I'd put it here, definitely worse than New York though. When it comes to this, um, I don't think the white on this like brownish trying to be gold color looks very good in my opinion. That is bullshit, my opinion. The same thing with this one, I'd put it with the other No, I'd put it actually down. I think it's worse than Gladiators. But, I don't know, the black on this like weird, it's not gold, which is really weirds me out. Like, it should have been more gold. I would have liked it a lot more if it was actually gold, but it's not. And the shock jerseys, I would put it be, I think their home jerseys are pretty cool. The dark gray on black with this white lettering looks really nice. It's like a Fusions jersey, or it's like the Fusion jersey, but it, instead of like white being the base color, it's like a nice little dirty gray, which I personally like a lot and makes the lettering stand out more as well. Whereas their away jersey, it's just like every other black jersey, it's just gonna go in the middle there if they don't care. Shanghai's another like one of these okay jerseys. I like the red on black, it's a good color scheme. And then I wish it did yellow lettering. On the black, I want to see what that would have looked like instead of this white, because I think that would have made it look pretty cool. Um, their away jerseys, like with the rest, like. <sighs> By the way, I'm not gonna order these this time. They're just in these tiers. All right, I'm not ordering them in the tiers. This is literally just the Shanghai jersey. It's just a darker red, so it's just gonna go with the Shanghai. It's like the same exact thing. Like even the fonts in the away jerseys are very similar. That is really weird that they chose to do that. I think Shanghai should have put yellow lettering on the black. This thing is yellow as their accent color. I want to see what that would have looked like if it would have looked better or worse. But yeah, they're basically the same jerseys, which is really weird. I didn't notice that until now. Um, the Titans, I hate their I hate their color scheme so much, especially this home jersey. I don't, I don't. I don't like the blue and green together. I'm just not a fan of blue and green together. I will say on the away jersey, it looks much, much better when you put it on top of the blue. But here, I just don't like this jersey. I'm going to be honest. It's probably my least favorite jersey out of all of them. I really don't like it. Going to the Justice, I like what they did here. I, I want to give them some props because they put two different... There are two different colors on here, right? So their colors are like red, white, and blue because they're the Justice. And then they put the blue and white on here. 
And then they put the red, then they put red and black with the white on here. And I like that they did that. It's still pretty generic though, but I like that they did that. I like their home jersey a lot, actually. I'll put it above the shock. I think their home jersey with the blue looks really clean. I like their lettering. It looks very nice. Um, that is my tier list of all the Overwatch League jerseys. I'll put a link to the, um, shit. I'll put a link to the tier list down below if you want to make your own and just send it to me or whatever. My Twitter is also done there. So consider subscribing. There are 19 more days until the Overwatch League begins. Have a good day and peace.